I, I feel almost at a loss as, as to, to where we should go as far as this is concerned. I'm a board member of the Civil Mediation Council, and the Civil Medi Mediation Council in, in London has set a, a criteria for uh, minimum, the minimum standard of training for a mediator uh, of something like 24 hours of training and uh, an assessment and two or three uh, mediations attended. If you went to Austria and wanted to be accredited, you have to undertake several hundred hours of training. Whether it makes any difference to the outcome, I don't know. There is a big question as to whether or not any training is necessary for someone who is really talented. <laughs> All judges are very talented. <laughs> we, we haven't yet got, I suggest, to a point where we can say with confidence what makes a good mediator in terms of his training. That makes it very difficult an international uh, move to a common standard of training. I, I mentioned in, in my paper that a, a, an outfit in, in Holland is seeking to introduce a worldwide standard of accreditation for mediators. Now it, it's clearly important if the courts are going to play any part in referring cases to mediation that the, the, the court has some acceptable standard which it can rely upon in an appointment. But that has to be at this stage pretty flexible. The only qualification I'd make is that, that despite the fact that all judges uh, make good mediators, it does help a bit if they're trained. 